Hello, it's Pelle here from Editing Visuals and in today's video I will be showing you guys how to make the signal text you guys saw in the beginning. Let's get right to it. So I'm going to show you guys three versions of this text here as you guys saw in the preview in the beginning. I'm going to start off with the first one. So we're going to make a text here. Type signal text or whatever you want. Align it. And these are the text settings I'm using for this text here. If you guys want to copy the same. After that, we're going to add the adjustment layer. So you're going to press Ctrl Alt Y. And here we're going to be adding transform. And we're going to keyframe the scale here. So you're going to press the clock here, go to the ending. And in the beginning, set it to zero. And then in the end, set it to 100. You can also rename the layers. So you know what all your adjustments layers do. After that, you're going to open up the layer effects, transform. And then you're going to mark the keyframes press F9 and then open the graph here and we're going to be using the speed graph for this graph here and, uh, and how to change that is just to right click here and you can choose between value graph and speed graph and here you're going to drag this one all the way to the left side here and this one all the way to the left side as well so it's going to be impactful in the beginning and then slow down in the ending you guys can choose if you want to have it slower or faster but this is the time i thought was most optimal for this the next thing we're going to do is to uh, animate the text a little bit and we're going to open up the text layer here go to transform and here we're going to make like a stretch animation to the text so you're going to go to the beginning here uncheck this chain here and then set this scale here the left one to zero press the clock here to keyframe then go to the ending and then set this one to 100 so it's basically going to stretch out horizontally here and we're going to mark these these two keyframes press f9 and we're going to do the same graph here drag those to like that so impactful in the beginning like that now i like to spice this up a little bit so i'm going to add a overlay from my tv glitch pack v2 if you guys i think these overlays look cool Feel free to check the pack out on our website editingvisuals.com And when you have added your overlay in, you can change the blending mode to overlay. After that, we're going to make a adjustment layer by pressing Ctrl Alt Y. And here we're going to be adding deep low. And for the settings here, I'm going to set the radius to 750. And the exposure is going to be 0 0.75. And you can check smooth blending. And after that, we're going to add the main effect for this, which is signal. So we're going to make the adjustment layer again, Control alt y And here we're going to be adding signal. And the settings we're going to be using for this first one is going to be 200 on the signal strength. Cutoff filter to 200, luma noise to 10. And then on emulating VHS, we're going to set that one to VHS EP. And then you're going to open up the luma modulation. And here we're going to uncheck the tape errors. And also on the Luma modulation, we're going to set the frequency here to 0 0.6. Haze to 1.7. Lightness to 0 0.58. And the quantize to 10. So this is how your first version uh, is going to look here uh, of a signal text. Looks very, very clean in my opinion, especially with the overlay. as a cool, like old TV look to this. So now we're going to pre-compose this text here. So you're going to choose all the layers, right click, pre-compose, name it V1, just like that. And you can make it invisible for the moment. And now for the second text, we're going to go back into our V1 text. Control A, Control C, go back to the main composition, press Control V, adjust, and then if you have an overlay here, delete it. And then here, we're going to mark the layers we have here, right click, pre-compose, name it V2, boom, and then open it up. And here we're going to make the adjustment layers here invisible for a moment. So mark them and then press the I there. So we just have the text here. And we're going to press Ctrl D on the text just like that. So now we have two text layers. And we're going to make the main text invisible here. The new text here we're going to mark that one just like this. And we're going to press this little swap fill and stroke arrow here just like that. So now it becomes outlined and you can adjust how out outlined you want to have the text here in uh, this section here. So we're going to set it at five. It looks clean. After that, we're going to be adding transform to this text layer. And then in the beginning here, we're going to set the scale to 120. And then we're going to keyframe it by pressing the clock here. Then you're going to go to the end of the animation and then set it to 100. And then you can make the main text visible. So now this is the animation it's going to make. And now you can make the 
panic drop layer visible so you can see the animation here and we're going to drag this signal layer here to the middle so the deep layer is going to be above the signal layer now and we're going to make the signal layer visible and we're going to change some settings here so the cutoff filter we're going to set that one to 88 luma noise to one open up luma modulation set the frequency to 0.62 Pace to lightness 0.62 and quantize to zero. After that, I'm going to be pressing the destruction button here. So if you press that one, it's going to look something like this, your text. And uh, I mean, it looks kind of boring with this like black and white. So how to make more like colors to this glitch here? We're going to be dragging up the signal amplification to 100. It's not going to look something like this here. I'm going to get some more color glitches. And then you're going to use the same D plus settings, make it visible. Now the second version is done and it's going to look something like this here, which is very, very cool in my opinion. And it's a pretty unique signal text to use. And uh, yeah, moving on to the third version. So for the third version, you're going to go back to your main composition here. You can make the second version invisible. And here you're going to go to the first version again, copy the settings here. So control C, go back to your main composition, control V. Adjust it, and then you're going to copy the whole composition of the first version. So control D, drag this under the other layers here, mock them, pre-compose, name it V3. Open the layer up, and here drag this like that. You guys can see this is uh, the layers we copied in. We have the version 1 of the signal text here. You can make that one visible, and you can make the rest of the layers visible as well. And now we're going to change the settings in the signal settings here. So the signal amplification is going to be 100 here. Cut off filter to 88, luma noise to 1, and then we are going to open up luma modulation. Set these settings back to default, so on frequency 0.62, pace 2, lightness is going to be 0.62, and the quantize to 0. We're going to be adding overlay 8 from our TV glitch pack V2. We're going to drag this one under the signal layer, then choose saturation. Press S, scale it down to 50%. So now when we made this third version, I realized that uh, this effect actually glitched the whole After Effects. So you guys might get different looks from this uh, tutorial here. This turned out differently when I originally made it. So uh, just so you guys uh, keep a note on that. Now it looks kind of weird. And uh, it didn't look this before, to be honest, when I made this effect. But uh, if you make the... Uh, <laughs> Version 1 comp composition, you added invisible instead. It's going to look something like this instead, which is pretty, pretty clean. Now this third version is going to look something like this. And as you guys can see, it's very glitch. But if you guys like glitch effects, this is the absolute perfect effect to use. And uh, I'm pretty satisfied with the looks here. They're pretty, pretty cool. And if you guys also like this effect here and uh, enjoyed the tutorial, please like and subscribe. And if you guys are interested in the overlays you guys saw in the beginning, you guys can check out our website with amazing editing packs. It's going to be linked in the description. Don't forget to check out our socials as well. I will see you guys next time. Take care and... Have a nice day.